Hey, so I recently picked up Tilt Brush, the VR drawing application from Google, and I have to say I am absolutely terrible at it. But I thought we'd do a fun game, uh, expectation versus reality. Let's see how garbage I am at this app. Um, I do enjoy drawing and art. I'm not really anything amazing. Um, I, I, I drew my logo. Let's see what kind of rubbish I can come up with in VR. I'm still kind of learning the ropes of this program. Honestly, I've seen people do some truly amazing things. Look at this. Look at the kind of, the kind of masterpieces you can come up with. What is that? I mean, this is unreal, guys. Maybe I just need some inspiration. I really don't know what to draw. So, Google, tell me what to draw. 60 easy drawing ideas. People, draw a character. A caricature of yourself I actually did that one already depict yourself as a superhero so I, I, I can do that one let's get started where are my hands here we go all right you can actually pull up other people's artwork here this is awesome <laughs> where's there's that famous Banksy picture remade in VR okay look what is it what is this how how in the world you even have a little little alien inside what the or I'm not an alien, little spaceman, little pilot. Holy, holy moly, dude. They have lighting effects, what in the? All right, I don't know how, how you're supposed to do any of this, but um, I'm gonna start, start anew. I'm gonna do a self-portrait as a uh, superhero. Interesting, oh wait. There's like so, so many other features here that I didn't see last time. Oh, squiggle vision, dude. You guys know squiggle vision i used to love squiggle vision science court and then uh, when i got a little bit older they came out with the home movies dude i love those shows there we go i just, I just want a little bit more light in here okay so i'm gonna start with a, a little little sketch here all right so we have the superhero let's go we have a head we have a triangle body Hey, this is uh, this is all theoretical, right? I'm not trying to say I look this way. Y'all know I, I need to lose like 40 pounds, but uh, right, what's, what does my superhero look like? I was just gonna do like a like a Superman type type thing. Get that cape. Even though yes, I, I've seen The Incredibles, but uh, let's let's start adding some some fleshy colors. Oh gosh. How do you do this? How do you like do the right shapes and things? This is I've, I've already failed at this. Oh my gosh! We just want to do some uh, Superman looking stuff up in here. A little little red uh, little red underwear right here. <laughs> I'm sorry. What well, I, I don't know what that thing is. Does anybody know what that thing is? All the superheroes wear a little little speedo. I'm like why? But why? PewDiePie is taking a break, so uh, somebody had to say it, right? But why? Uh, it's coming along, right? And red boots. This looks like Frosting Man. Maybe that. Maybe that's gonna be my superhero. I'm, I'm just gonna be Frosting Man. I'm gonna get so many thumbs down on, on this video. Like you're not even doing it right, man. Learn to learn to use this thing before you start start shooting videos. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pull around here. See what happens. So, you know what? Honestly, I mean, I may not know how to use this, but I'm having fun. You know what? And maybe, maybe this looks like a toddler's drawing, but it's actually quite therapeutic. Actually, it's pretty cool. Just, it's pretty cool tech to play with. You know, I'm not gonna pretend to be an expert here. Nah, man. All right. Well, hey, that, that's a pretty decent-looking uh, kind of figure for a first-timer who really doesn't know what he's doing here played around with this program for maybe like 30 minutes the other day oh shoot that doesn't look good uh but yeah i mean um i, I still obviously don't know what i'm doing here so use my my facial hair i'm gonna make it even longer than it is in real life a little bit of uh, oh wow messy hair kind of spiked over to the side there all right oh wow lagging here I, I, I do need a haircut, so that much is that's realistic. That much is true. All right, quite nice. Let's see those eyes. Oh my gosh. Little, little tiny eyes. 
on it right there. Whoa. Okay, you can't see what I'm doing. Wow, that's now that. Ooh, that is amazing. If I do say so myself, my goodness, look at that. Yeah, I need a nose, more of a nose. Okay. Wow, look at that. All right. You get the little, like the little Superman emblem right here. Only it's gonna be uh, D for for Dad, dude, if you want, or D for David, because that's my actual name. All right, look at that. How beautiful is that face? Oh my goodness. Any woman will be lucky to uh, go home to that face every night. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Amazing. Okay. Let, let's give him a little bit of uh, that, like. Superpower that like, Dragon Ball Z aura. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. I'm just radiating energy, power. Oh, yeah. Bam. Nobody can stand up to that. Not Goku. Not One Punch Man. Nobody. That's epic. <laughs> okay. That is uh, actually quite, quite a disappointment. Uh, especially in the face, the, the facial department, the body looks kind of like a like a yarn uh, knit doll or something. But oh my gosh, that that face that 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 is a face only a mother could love, and uh, it, it better be Mother Teresa because uh, yeah, first challenge is done. I don't know if you could even see me. I ended up all over the place. Gosh, okay, that was terrible. I'm sorry, guys. Let me get back in the frame. Uh, what a fail. All right, forget people, landscape. View out of a window, clouds. All right, uh, I'm just gonna do the first one even though clouds would clearly be the easiest. View out of a window. All right, let's do this. View from a window, we're gonna have nice green grass. Not some wild grass. Okay. We already have the sky as a backdrop. So what else, what else can we have? Could draw like a city or something, skylines, but nah, you know what? Let's keep it keep it small. I'll draw like a, a barn. There we go. I don't know whose window this is that you live next to a barn. I mean, clearly it's a it's a, a farmer, right? Farmers have barn houses, right? Yeah, I'm sure there's an easier way to like fill in big shapes and things. I know there is, but you know what? This is this is abstract art. That's what this is. 100% what do barns don't don't they have like some white trim traditionally I'm not even gonna try and make this 3d or am I this is quite terrible okay <laughs> let's make a little you know what there's some yellow make some little little chicks little baby chicks wandering around outside there we go look at that how cute first thing I did right all day uh, Take that back. This should be a little bit fatter. There we go. But these are like so flat though. They make everything more three-dimensional, right? That's the whole point of this, right? Oh my gosh. Scary. Things you can actually go inside your artwork too. Oh what what if I build a house? I could actually go inside. Oh man, see now now I'm seeing the potential here. Now I'm thinking outside the box a little bit. Speaking of box, here we go. Maybe I can go inside my barn. Maybe there will be animals inside my barn. What's a barn without animals, honestly? Uh, you know what? I'll leave a window. Right oh gosh, what a terrible window. Man, who needs Legos, right? I'm just kidding, Legos are awesome. This is some next level stuff. This kind of really um, put your mind to work here. Really test your patience as well. But uh, we just want to do a real quick job here. Back of the barn right here. Nothing fancy, nothing special. All right, all right, now check this out. We're going inside, inside the barn. Look at this. Oh, dude, this is, now this is crazy. I'm seeing some your potential. Hey, look there's Super Dave over there in the distance. What's up, Super Dave? Oh man. Put some like, I don't know. Do barns have like wooden floors or is it just, just the dirt? Just cover this one. Huh? Maybe it's covered in hay and stuff anyway, so it's just gonna kind of look like this. Yeah, kids, they, they want, want a playhouse, so I'll just give them this. They can build their own playhouse in VR. Oh man, I know people are gonna get real angry. Uh, I'm just playing, guys. 
but I like you gotta see the potential here. This is really quite amazing. If I do say so myself. Uh, not not my artwork. I mean this this technology, this app here. This is super cool. Alright, let, let's put a horse in here. Just a little something like that. Big old neck. It needs to be more three-dimensional also. I don't know what that nose is. That that was just a mistake. Alright, big old swivel body right here. These are just giant pieces of muscle that's up there. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is a terrible looking horse. This is a, something wrong with this horse. But you know what? We're in frosting land, right? Well, we're in somebody's messed up dream right now. I, I don't even know. Tails will be covered in black hair. In real life, you won't, wouldn't really want to put your face up in a horse's uh, behind like this, but. Hey, we're in VR. This is my masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. This is quite disturbing. <laughs> really, really quite disturbing. Get that horsey hair up in here. Oh my gosh. So bad. So bad, guys. What on earth? But hey, we have a barn with a horse. Hey, look. He's a happy horse. Yeah, look at that big smile. He doesn't know how ugly he is. All right, there we go. We have a horse in a barn, lots of hay. We got uh, a couple little chicks outside. There we go. Not exactly a view from uh, any window I've looked out of, perhaps, but hey, you know what Super Dave approves, right, Super Dave? That's right. What's next? Imagination. Draw an object and give it a face. All right, what kind of object should I draw though? Let's see. Uh, let's make this easy. Uh, how about a coffee cup? Coffee mug. Oh, this is terrible. So bad. What? Oh, dude, this is... Wow. Looks more like a marshmallow. Okay, uh, you know what? It's a marshmallow. There we go. And you know what? It's swimming in... Hot cocoa. Alright, there we go. Look at that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And the whole thing is inside a mug. Here we go. There's my mug. Oh, I... That's not gonna work. It's half of the mug is underground. Okay, you know what? Forget it. Forget that. It's a marshmallow. It's a happy, happy marshmallow. Not the DJ, just a marshmallow. It's happy because it uh, found some hot cocoa. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Uh, now it looks like a frosted mini wheat. It's like, it's all flat. There it is. Okay. Oh my gosh! You know what? You just you just you gotta set your expectations low here. All right, we have we have just a couple categories left. I'm just gonna do one from each category. Draw a towel in different positions. Oh my gosh! Really? Ingredients of your next meal: old pair of shoes. <sighs> Let's draw some shoes. Uh, I always like to wear some uh, like a Converse. I tend to wear the low tops, black. So we have basic shape of the shoe right here. Uh, eh. Oh man. It's actually quite bad. Okay, there's the side of it. Oh my goodness. So bad. So, so bad. I think I just need to stop being so scared of it and just make more lines. Let's just make a lot more lines. See what happens here. I don't know if you guys seen on the on the YouTube like suggested videos or anything. That guy who does all those crazy 3D pen uh, art projects he did one with Sonic the Hedgehog. It looked it looked crazy. It looked so cool. But even more than more than just that, that he he went and he added like some LED lights. It was crazy. It went way way up above and beyond what I was even imagining. Okay, we got one shoe. Basic framework for it. Um, it's gonna be some white around the bottom here. Guys, you have no idea how hard this is, but it, you know what? It, I, I think if you wanna take the time and learn how to do a much better job than I'm doing, like, I'm gonna take the time to learn the techniques, proper techniques for using this program. Um, people come up with some crazy, crazy good, just masterpieces. It's insane. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna cheat. I'm only gonna draw one shoe. I'm sorry. Yeah, pretty much feel 
like I'm drawing with some uh, some frosting and like a, one of those piping bags and making a, a, like a shoe cake right now on one of those like crazy baking shows where they make desserts that look like random objects. Remember when, when my daughter was really little? She wanted a toilet cake one year, so I actually got her a toilet cake from this bakery. Um, I, I had nothing to do with it actually, but um, you know, when kids are little, they think like anything that has to do with the bathroom is just hilarious. It was pretty hilarious, actually. Just gonna add some laces. Well, there it is. Super ugly, ugly Chuck right there. Just add a little, little detail or something. But yeah, garbage. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's one shoe. Look at what's next. I think this may, may be the last, last one coming up here. Blind contour drawing. Interesting. Yeah, we can do that. I can just take off my headset real quick. It's gonna be tricky. Draw an object such as your hand in one continuous line. Cool. So without looking, all right. Do check it out. Always leaves a mark. All right, we're gonna draw a big hand. Here we go. Oh man, I, I can already tell this is gonna be really bad. That was just the, the outline. I don't know. I can't do three dimensional, but what I can do is maybe I can kind of trace my hand a little bit here, just as a second comparison drawing. Um, and then what if we go ahead and add add layers, add depth? It's gonna be interesting. Oh well, I, I of course I moved my hand, so oh, now now it's just ruined. It's just it's just gonna be totally ruined. Let's see what we got here. Um, I don't see anything, and it didn't work, did it? Right. I'm just gonna like close my eyes. I'm gonna draw that hand again. Ugliest hand ever. But man, let me see. Boom! Oh wow, it's even worse than I could have ever, ever possibly imagined. What in? Uh... All right, there you go, guys. Uh, that is tilt brush. But well, we, uh, we we learned something today. We learned that we can make a playhouse complete with a horse. And go inside and just chill so of course and uh we learned that we can make a super super ugly hero look at that oh, this guy's handsome anyways it is what it is like i say if if i would have taken the time to like try out all the different tools maybe watch some tutorials i'm pretty sure i could have come up with something a lot more uh, decent than all of that but you know what, I had fun with it. Uh, it's definitely a fun uh, tool, fun thing to play around with. I feel like I can't really give it a full review. I, I feel like there are some some features that I, I would like to see that may exist, but I have no idea. So this is not a review, it's just a, you know, I, I wanted to review this, this program and then I was like, no, I, I really can't review it. But here you go, this is, this is what it looks like when you just jump in and have no idea what you're doing. Um, you can create some truly, truly ugly things, but you know it, it's an enjoyable process. It's something unlike anything else that you know you've probably done in your life before. Um, it's it's a super cool idea, executed very well, and go get it, go play around with it. In case you're wondering, I'm uh, using a Windows Mixed Reality headset. It's a Lenovo, one of the cheaper options out there. I got it like a cool year ago or something. Uh, but it works on the Valve Index, on the Vive, Oculus Rift, and Windows Mixed Reality as well. So, there it is guys. Tilt Brush by Google. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And, uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel for more videos. I really appreciate that. And I will do my best to create quality, quality content for you. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day. I'll see you next time.